Hello subscribers, hello YouTubers, hello everyone. Today I want to talk about a question that I receive every time. It's people who want to start investing but they keep asking me what are the things that I need to start investing. So what do I need to open an investment or trading account? That's what I will talk about today. So we'll jump in quick. We're not going to waste time. So in order for you to place order, right, to buy or sell, you need a broker, right? That broker, you pass through him, you give him the order, and he will let you assess the market so you can buy your order. That's simple. So we have a bunch of brokers out there. We have Fidelity, Ticoswim, Scott Trade, uh, the Bank of America, Merrill Lynch, First Trade, TD Ameritrade, Robin Hood Open House. Now, I will stress something about Robin Hood. Robin Hood is really good for people that are starting. So, if you just start trading, please use Robin Hood because it will save you money on commission. It is a commission free broker. So, it means that you will not pay commission when you buy one stock or two stock because you just get started. So, make sure you get a commission free broker. Now the thing is, when I want to buy Apple stock, I can't just go and buy. I need account. So that account is what is with my broker. So the broker is the guy between me and the market. So you need you need a broker account, okay? So in order to do that, you you have to have some information before you have to provide some information. Like you need your personal information, your first last name, social security number, date of birth email residential address phone number beneficiary's name photo id employment study marital study this information you have to provide them is required by law because it is an investment or a trading account you need to pro provide those information so your broker will verify if it is a real person or not because this is about money okay you need a bank account your bank account you will link it to your investment account or trading account so you can found your investment account you can take money from your from your bank account put in your investment account you can take money from your investment account put it in your bank account you can do those transactions once you have a bank account linked to your investment or trading account the next thing is your broker will need to verify your citizenship status right now i'm talking about the united states in the united states you can be a u.s a u.s citizen or legal resident you're good you'll be fine with that you have to sign up username and a password create the password and you that will ask you your broker will ask you about your investment experience right or in goal what is your goal are you looking for long term or short term it is optional they just tell them the truth if you're a beginner if you are new if you are advanced trader or investor so that's it the next thing is the minimum amount that you have to put in your account some brokers do require one so but you have to fund your account with a minimum some broker acts for five thousand some ask for five hundred some don't Ask, they don't ask for anything. Robinhood doesn't ask for a minimum account. Once you open a Robinhood account, just put five dollar, ten dollar in it. You can start trading. Okay. Now you you need a waiting period between two to five days to your account to be approved because your bank account have to be linked, stuff like that. So they verify it's you so they can approve your account. That's it. And you can start investing or trading. That's the process of open an investment and trading account. It is simple. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and have a nice day. Thank you. Bye-bye.